do this shit. You ready? I'm ready. We... Oh, hey. Hey there. Oh, you know I didn't what? see ya. I was gonna get my thing, just in case anybody had any questions. Well, we can do that, and I'll tell a little story. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody, this is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars, and Chris will be right back. This is a very, very special reveal, and I talked with the owner of this guitar earlier today, and he reminded me of why this is a special reveal. But, as you know, we like to um, talk about some of the things that we're doing besides the um, uh, the reveal guitar, but I don't have anything in front of me right this second. Actually, hand me that seven string neck, Chris. Thank you, that would be a good one to do because I just put the radius on there even though it's very, very small. So uh, anyway, today is Saturday, the whatever it is in April and uh, we've got two reveals going on today. This is the first one and like I said, it's a very special reveal but um, before we do before we do this reveal, I thought I would see Chris's back. You guys can you guys can relax now. Um, but before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about I have been doing a buttload of woodwork. Buttload. A buttload of woodwork um, yesterday, actually all week. And one of the things I've been working on is this seven string neck for um, a guy, and he specced, you know, that he wanted it seven string, and so there was a lot of back and forth and like. Here, what do you think of this design? And what do you think of this drawing? And what do you think of this? How do you want the heel to be? So if you guys need parts for anything and you need them custom made, we can help you with that. Whether it's a seven string upside down or if you want it to be a left-handed, you could do that too. Um, uh, this has an 18 inch radius. So it's very, very flat. It's got an ebony board. 25 and a half with 20, 24 frets, I think. So this guitar neck is really cool. It's getting bound with white, I think. I'll have to look at the, 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 um, the instruction sheet. And I've got lots and lots and lots of necks right over here. There's one, two, there's easily 20 necks over there that I'm working on. And one of them is yours if you've ordered a neck from me. So, but let's jump into the reveal because this is a very special one. So I was talking to, guys, if you don't know already, this is Andrew the Saint, Andrew St. Pierre's uh, custom challenger that he ordered. And Chris, do you know when he ordered this guitar? Uh, we talked about it the other day, but I don't remember exactly when. It was 30 seconds after we announced that we were full-time guitar makers. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh and, really? Yep. Yep, and Andy Andy St. Pierre said, I like what you guys are doing. I'm down with the whole Texas Toast vibe. I'm into it. I want to have the very first guitar that you guys take an order for now that you're full-time guitar makers and you don't do anything else to be mine. And so that's a special thing, and it's special for, for Andrew St. Pierre, and it's special for us, too. So... Um, Let's deep dive into the patron saint of Texas Toast Guitars, uh, Andrew St. Pierre's Custom Challenger, and we're going to show you guys why it is so unbelievably cool. So, Chris, you want to you wanna start talking or you want me to No, start I'll talking? let you talk. I'll show. All right. So, Andrew St. Pierre specced uh, everything just about on this guitar. He wanted uh, He wanted one of our challengers, but he wanted it all hollow except for this chunk down the center, kind of like a 335. Um, and he wanted a custom F-hole that wasn't, you know, didn't look exactly like uh, every other F-hole you can get. He wanted a fancy top and he wanted a walnut back. So, and he wanted a walnut neck and a rosewood fretboard. So, uh, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on on the front here. This is, this Challenger model had to be stretched about an inch and a half to two inches in the ass end to accommodate the Bigsby B7, mm -hmm. which he specced. He wanted a B7 Bigsby because he digs, you know, the that kind of stuff, which I do too. That's cool. Um, and uh, he wanted a fancy top. So this is a piece of quilted ash that we got from another one of our supporters 
who sent us. He's like, hey, do you want this piece of wood? And I'm like, well, yeah, I, I want it. So he sent that to us, and I didn't know what to do with it. And Andrew St. Pierre said, I want something really nice. I'm like, you know what, dude? If you want something that you, you won't see anywhere else but still looks familiar, have I got a piece of wood for you. This is, and everyone thinks it's maple, but when you look close, like when Chris was showing you up close, you can tell it's ash. It's really, really spectacular wood. Um, so he wanted, um, he wanted a, a kind of a, a straight up, you know, a hassle-free fretboard, but we did put dots on the fifth and 12th fret because uh, Andrew St. Pierre thought that looked cool. We went with hip shot locking tuners, three on a side with our Texas Toast head stock. Um, that was something that he absolutely wanted to have. He actually specced that he wanted a black logo on the headstock, so we did a black logo. He wanted cream binding on the neck and cream binding on the body, so we accommodated him. Uh, what's the deal with those pickups, Chris? These are McNeely pickups that he specced and had built, and then they shipped them to us. Did he really? He the, so those are like custom wound pickups. Uh, I think that it's it's one of their their standard models. I don't know how much customizing he did, but he did specifically ask for this foil look in the middle. It's cool, and that, man. Yeah, they're really neat pickups. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Can I show the back? Yeah, well, hold on. So we got we got a, a switch in the in the classic single cutaway position. We've got the uh, the uh, standard two nomadic Bigsby B7. What do we got? A, a volume volume tone. Yep. And um, we're gonna get to we're gonna. I know that everyone's like shut up and play the guitar. I, although after so many of these reveals, does anybody really want us to? Play they really the guitar? don't. No, and I don't really want to read the comments after I play the guitar <laughs> either. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, so uh, and before we show the back, the back the. <laughs> <laughs> the back has some really cool, you won't find it anywhere besides Texas Toast um, guitars, and are you ready to show it off? Yeah, well, and, and a lot of people don't know this, Yeah. It, but every guitar we build yeah. comes with a bottle opener. Yep. You have to specifically click the bottle the opener, bottle delete, opener delete package button. Yeah, if you don't want a bottle opener. That's and right. Andy failed to do that. Actually, Andrew St. Pierre is so cool. He's like, I want something that really typifies what they do at Texas <laughs> Toast. I want it to be special. But on the back, check it out. So it should <laughs> the, be this way. The chrome covers are pretty rad. I and, love them. Uh, I think that's the coolest. Yeah. Just the. The, the coolest little thing. So it's got ever. a bottle opener because Chris and I are a couple of hillbillies and we couldn't make a guitar for Andrew St. Pierre that didn't have and that. And it's the the quilted ash and it's ambered. That's right, yeah. Showing we, through. That's the top from the back, if that makes sense. And it does. Yeah, and this walnut is super cool. Yeah. Look how shiny it is. I know. Yeah, it's just it's like yeah. Beep, yeah. You see everything. Yeah, it's nuts. So you're gonna give someone a seizure. Oh, I hope. So, um, what was it? This this seemed like it took longer than it did. It took a long time. Well, he ordered it, and we made some real progress on yeah. it. Yeah. And then all hell broke loose, and we moved, and we did yep. all sorts of other stuff. And then winter and then came, and winter came. all hell broke loose, and we couldn't paint. Paint stuff. Yeah. And I wanted it to turn out, you know, awesome, perfect. That was his, the stipulation that Andrew St. Pierre gave us was do whatever you want, but it's got to be crazy cool. It's got to be like, you know, what you guys are capable of doing, but classic at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So not like pinstriping and gold leaf, but classic looks, classic styling, um, and I, I'm, I'm glad that he chose a challenger and he wanted it stretched to accommodate the Bigsby. That was cool. Yeah, that was really a fun part of it. Yeah. Watching you do that. And, and it being the first, you know, semi hollow. That's right. That we've we've done, made. we've done a few since then, but this is the very first mostly hollow challenger that we've ever yeah, made. We did weight is, relieving. Yeah, which is, we've yeah. done weight relieving, which is a yeah. little different. This is... Completely hollow except for a big. How much? How much do it weigh? 
Good question. Let me, let's plug it in while you, you grab the scale. Okay. So I have the amp here. I don't know what it's set on. It's so clean now. Clean? Who wants that? No one wants clean. I don't think it's set on clean, dude. Oh no, because you were playing that other guitar. Yeah. Well, this 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 thing has some output. Pitch shifting do you get with the Bigsby? Uh, not a lot. Just a just a tick, right? Just a wiggle. Yeah. You got you kind of got to shove it. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, it does better at that at the, at the warble than the, the minor. What would you play if you were in a surf band and you had this guitar and you wanted to really wow all the ladies? What would I play? Yeah. The theme from Bonanza. Uh, no. I'd go... Oh! Better get the birth control. Except I'd play all the notes right. Yeah, I think I turned it down too, so it sounds a little thin. Well, crank whatever. it, crank it, dude. No, it's. Is it all the way up? Yeah. Okay. This is the second guitar that we've made with a Bigsby, but the only one that we've made with the B7. Yes, we did mm -hmm. one with the B5 one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a yeah, in a yeah. Challenger. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So guys, this is Andrew St. Pierre's super cool new Challenger. I actually went to Flipside Music, the great American guitar store today, and uh, picked up a case for it. It's shipping on Monday, and it is speeding its way to Massachusetts to uh, one very lucky Andrew St. Pierre, the patron saint of Texas Toast Guitars. Guys, if you are looking for um, stuff, if you're looking for you know new gear from uh, that's not a custom electric guitar, Check out Flipside Music, the Great American Guitar Store. They are open. Their website is kicking ass right now, and they are doing curbside pickup. If you, We're going to talk more about that in the live stream tomorrow, but if you need anything, give Ike a call or send him an email, and he'll be there. I think he's there between what some hours. He'll, he'll tell you. And they've got you know everything that you could possibly imagine, and they even have some Texas Toast guitars. So uh, we've got one more reveal for you coming up in like 15 minutes. We have to get ready. And... Um, are you jumping I'm around? I'm waiting it. Oh, you're weighing I'm it. I'm okay. waiting it. Yeah. Okay. Somebody asked, and I, and I was like, Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, about nine and a half pounds. Okay. So yeah. That's with the big giant Bigsby on it. Yeah, and it's got a big chunk of walnut running through the center. Yeah, so. and walnut's not light. No. It so doesn't feel heavy. No, it doesn't. Feel it's heavy. fairly large guitar. It's too. a big guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. We've got another reveal coming up later today. Uh, we're gonna drink some more beers. We're gonna have some more laughs. Andrew St. Pierre, if you're watching, have a great weekend, and um, it's coming at you, buddy. This one's for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in 15 minutes.